Friday night lights were shining tonight on Hamilton High School. The football team taking the field without their coaches. The entire staff has been fired. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Tonight we're talking with those coaches. WREG's Brian Ditlake is here live with us to explain. Brian, what are those coaches saying? Well, Stephanie, Greg, right now these coaches say it's all about safety and taking care of their players. These coaches realize they're also mentors and losing the team before they can even finish the season hurts. <laughs> Hamilton High tacking on an extra point seconds before the end of the first quarter and watching from just off the field some of their former coaches. I'm here for my boys. It hurt. Like, I done shed the tears, real tears over this. I had to beg several players out there right now to play today. Marlon Beckett, just one of the nine coaches, fired after an incident in last week's game when Hamilton took on Sheffield. My athletic director at the time was, I guess, going through some more came in the game upset Friday. Uh, he wanted to pull certain kids. Pulled them because of questions of eligibility. Former head coach Jarrell Blanchard could not attend tonight's game. He says the encounter on the field centered on the athletic director, Alfred Burkett, who claimed a player was ineligible to play. Blanchard claims he tried to calm Burkett. He was kind of upset. Uh, we, we asked security to remove him. That on the field episode ended with Hamilton forfeiting the game, handing Sheffield the win. A few days later, the district fired the coaches and kept the athletic director. I wasn't given any paperwork. I wasn't even getting a courtesy call from the principal saying, well, Coach Blanchard, we'll have to let you go due to the fact that this, this, and this. And this wasn't the first time the coaches have lost their jobs. We've been coaching on pins and needles since June. We were fired in June. Beckett says they were rehired right before the Jamboree back in August. We reached out to the TSSAA about the situation. They say they have been in communication with both schools and decisions regarding the coaching staff would have nothing to do with them. These 30 kids that's out there on their field right now, they made me a better man. These nine men that got fired, they made me a better man. But through it all, we still gonna be champions and we gonna win. Now, the big question tonight is why? Why were the coaches fired? Coach Blanchard and others we spoke with say they want to know why there was not a more formal investigation. We've reached out to Memphis, Memphis Shelby County Schools for comment, but at this time, have not heard back. We're live in the studio. Brian Ditlake, WREG, News Channel 3. All right, sounds like there's more to figure out. We'll try to get to the bottom of it. Brian.